This is Don August, HorseracingNation.com, and today on Barry Backstretch Talk, we go inside one of the returning barns of the Golden Gate Fields. It is the red and white checkered silks of the North American Thoroughbred Horse Company. The barn is trained by Troy Taylor, but the man behind the outfit is Mr. Glenn Todd. Todd is one of the most successful owners north of the border, racing at Hastings Park in Vancouver, British Columbia. This year, Mr. Todd has put barns at Golden Gate Fields and Southern California to race his horses all throughout the West Coast. Last week, Mr. Todd visited Golden Gate Fields and had a chance to sit down and talk with him for a few minutes about what the North American Thoroughbred Horse Company is all about. So, Glenn, you've been in racing for over 50 years. What got you into the sport? Well, I'm a third generation. My father and my grandfather and my mom and dad actually met at the racetrack, so I'm born into it. Why did you pick the... Actually, you did a few different things. You, you were a sports writer. I think you wrote about horse racing before. When I went to school. When I went to school, I wrote the handicap. You did a handicap, you've been trainer for a short time and now owner. Uh, what led you to this avenue eventually? Well, I owned and trained my own horses, but I was a good friend with Troy Taylor, and I realized I had to go to work and make some money, so I turned the horses over to him and I went to work, but I've had horses, uh, I don't know, 40 years. Anyway. So the North American Thoroughbred Horse Company is something that you created, you're behind. How long has that been in existence? About four years, but I'm the sole owner. We put some syndicates together to try to get new people involved. We have four syndicates, but they're, they're very small. Lots of people, but just one or two horse syndicates so that to get new people involved in the game. And then you hired Troy Taylor as your head trainer, and that's lasted uh, through the duration. has been a great success to you. What is it about Troy's training and your owning, the, the combination of the two, that makes the, the organization work? Well, we've been friends for um, 50 years. And um, matter of fact, the first column I wrote as a writer was on Troy Taylor. <laughs> and we've been friends ever since. And, you know, he's a loyal guy and uh, doesn't tell me any lies. And I know what's going on every day with all my horses. And that's a good combination. How many horses do you have currently in training right now? 85. What's the highest you ever got to? 85. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have 125, but... 85 are in training right now. And are most of them in California or are the, a lot of them up in uh, uh, Canada? I got 55 in Washington in training. I got 20, 20 here and 5 at, at um, Santa Anita. And one thing I've learned about being around Troy here at the track is that you have your own people in place everywhere. You have a barn and the people take really good care of, of your, your horses here. How important is that for you to have your people in place and, and doing the job? Well, you've got to have good people no matter what you do or what business you're in. You've got to have good people. We try to hire the best people. You know, we brought most of our own people here from Canada. Mm-hmm. They've been with me for a long time in Troy, so it's very important to me that we have a good team. You know, there's no I in team. Let's talk about some of your lo- your horse successes you've had. Um, I know a few of your biggest ones have been Taylor Said, Commander, and Evelyn's Dancer, to probably just name just three of them. What would some of those horses mean to you? Um, as you've been along in the, in the owning game? Well, it's, um, Taylor said was a, was a freak. He was a really good horse, and you know, we sold him after the long year's mile. You know, I didn't want to sell him, but the, we sold him for a big price, actually. And um, he went to Dubai, but he was, he was, a, he was a great horse. Uh, Evelyn's Dancer was a good mare. Uh, Holy Nova, who's in uh, Keeneland Sale tomorrow, I won 14 stake races with her. She meant quite a bit to me, but it's, um, you know, you got to keep turning them over. And um, it's a thrill for any horse to win. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if they're stake horses. You know, and I've probably won 200 stakes. But um, every one means something, including the $5,000 claimer. They're all great wins to me. And of course, Commander was in the Breeders' Cup this past year. Yeah, a bit of a disappointment. He's a pretty good horse. He's a big animal. But, uh, you know, he's been a single digit. I've run him there twice. And... He just can't seem to get the distance, but um, Aaron Greider actually talked me into trying to go again because mm-hmm. he was riding him in Canada this year. And, um, he's a nice horse, but um, Taylor said was a lot better. And Taylor said his brother, Taylor's deal's a good horse too that we have. As far as jockeys go, you have um, you're responsible for the career of Mario Gutierrez. You have him and Aaron Greider that you've had under contract to ride for you. What is something that you want to do with riders like that where you want to lock them into riding most of your horses? Well, Mario came to me from Mexico, and um, he had a lot of talent, and I could see it. And 
Mario, when he was 19 years old, started to make a wrong turn in the road, and I grabbed him by the scruff of the neck, and and uh, and, and the rest is success, right? And, matter of fact, he just rode a horse to me two minutes ago at, at San Anita. But Mario, um, Mario's like my son, and I'm like his father in North America to him. And, and what was it like for you last year to watch it, uh, two years ago to watch him make the run through the uh, Kentucky Derby Preakness and, and head to the Belmont? It was a great feeling for me. It was a great feeling for him. I was so happy for him. And, um, you know, he's a very intelligent kid. And he's also very humble, but he's also very talented. It was great. I read somewhere where you uh, chose not to go, or before the Belmont, before I got out of the Belmont, you chose not to go to the Belmont because it was, I read, I read, I read it, was, it wasn't about you, it was about him. But uh, was that something you were planning on doing, watching from afar, just to let him enjoy the spotlight? Yeah, it was uh, not my horse. It was uh, Paul Redham's horse. And um, even though him and I got a lot of publicity through the run, both of us did, um, it really wasn't my horse, and it really wasn't, it's all about the horse and Mario. It wasn't about me. So he had to go and, and do his thing. And, uh, you know, my horse had been there in a minute, but it just wasn't um, it just wasn't the place for me to be. What are some of the biggest races that you've run in and won? Well, the Long Here's Mile is the biggest race I've actually won. I've run in the Canadian Derby and the BC Derby and run all kinds of seconds and thirds, but... Um, no, the Long Acres Mile is like, that's the race of the Pacific Northwest, and the first time I ran on it, we won it. You've had great success up in Canada. You're now running here at Golden Gate and down south. Where, how do you make your choice on where you want to set up your barn, what horses go there? Is it kind of the season or, or just different places you want to try out? No, um, we're going to be on the West Coast um, most of the year, this year anyways. And, you know, the, the horses from Canada... Even coming here, you've got to spot them, right? Because our horses aren't quite as good as as, as these horses here. And you know, if a horse is worth 50 in Canada, you got to run them for 25 here. If he's worth 25, you got to run them for 12.5 if you want to play the game. And the horses in Santa Anita are then one step better. And Santa Anita is tough. We've talked about some of your successes. What are some of the races that you uh, strive to win? I'm, I'm sure the Kentucky Derby and, and Breeders' Cup races are among the top of the list for everybody, but is there a race or a series of races that you still want to really get to as an owner and win? Yeah, I've never won the BC Derby. I think I've won every stake in Canada like three, four times. I've never won the BC Derby. And I've run second, second, third, second, but um, I ran second, third, and fourth uh, last year. I uh, had three more centuries and still couldn't get there. But um, that's the one I really want to get. When you look for something like that, do you look for buying a horse now that might get to there or, or breeding for a horse that you might want to get there in a couple of years? Or what's your thought about going for attacking races like that? I usually go out and buy, right? I've, um, yeah, Every year I've gone out and buy three-year-olds by May or so that maybe are a step below or just fallen off the derby trail and I keep trying, but uh, I'll get there. Let me try hard. They say try hard enough, and eventually you'll get yeah. there, huh? Um, one more thing. We, we talk, I talk with Jerry Hollendorf all the time about the way he runs his barns. He's got so many good people in place. Um, wherever they go, he knows what's going on. Is that the same thing with, with your group? Is that you know, like you said, you've talked to everybody all the time, but you're totally confident with the horses that wherever they are, everything's going you know, the way you'd want them to go? Yeah, otherwise they wouldn't be there, right? Uh, Hollendorf runs a great outfit, and uh, he's... Uh, He's hotter than a firecracker all across the country. I mean, he's doing great. Good for him, right? But, um, yeah, I, I like it that way, too. It's uh, I'm a businessman by first, and um, I run a very large corporation. I'm retired, really, but I own a very large corporation. But it, I run everything the same. It's good people everywhere. Well, I've seen the way the organization runs while they're here, and I'm sure uh, success will come wherever because they do a great job, and I'm sure uh, the reason they do a great job is because it starts at the top, and, and you do a great job with your stuff. So we'd like to wish you the best of luck here at Golden Gate Fields, and maybe you can win the BC Derby this year. Thank you very much, and you're only as good as your weakest link in, in any business, right? So you need good people. Thank you very much. Thank you.